Ooh. <laughs> this right here is the bull snake. This is related to uh, the gopher snakes and the Louisiana pine snakes. And what these snakes are world famous for is that sound that you're hearing right now, if you can hear it very well. It is a roaring sound produced by a flap in the back of their throat. And whenever they exhale air through it, the air rumbles against it. It almost sounds like a rattlesnake. And that's why these snakes are often killed and mistaken for rattlesnakes. People come across them and just hear the noise and just go ahead and start shooting if they're hunters or anything like that. They'll kill these snakes. But these snakes are actually very great snakes. They're, they adapt well to captivity. They're very good for the environment because they keep in check mice populations, rodent populations, and uh, gophers is one of their main source of prey, just like the gopher snake and everything else. And like the gopher snake, these guys are bad to the bone constrictors. I mean, they can constrict really, really hard and their prey pretty much doesn't stand a chance once it's wrapped up in these coals. These guys are also extremely fast at striking, not so much whenever they're in defense, but whenever they actually want to kill, they have extremely fast striking speeds. And they also have extremely large teeth, and that's used to hold on to their large prey, which is gophers or any of those huge field mice out there, and some of those mice get pretty daggum big. As you can see right now, he's in his defense mode. He's got that tongue held out, that mouth slightly open, that head angled down. This is to mimic a rattlesnake, and if you can feel his tail right now, like I can off of the stick, he's also vibrating it. And if it's around leaves or grass or anything like that, that vibration will also make him appear like a rattlesnake. And this is a form of mimicry that they use to deter predators from attacking them and everything. You can see, like the gopher snake, they have almost the exact same coloration, except for a little bit darker. The only uh, difference between them and the gopher snake is the gopher snake has a lighter pattern and a little bit more broad bands on the side that separate these little circles. And also their tail is a little bit more lightly covered. As far as the length of these guys go, they are actually one of the biggest snakes in the state of Texas. They can reach lengths up to eight feet. And uh, this one's actually probably mid-adult and everything. This might be as big as this one's gonna get because for one to reach eight feet, that's a pretty huge size. So you can see this guy open his mouth though. And if you look closely inside of that throat, you can see the hole, the tube that he uses. Let's see if we can get his open mouth. Open. There you go. See that tube? I'm not sure if you can see it. <laughs> Woo Woo that's a striking distance right there. But um, you can see that tube that he uses, and whenever he eats prey that's too large for him to hold inside of his mouth, he takes that tube and sticks it outside of his throat. And that helps him to breathe while he's eating. That keeps him from suffocating and choking also. Beautiful, beautiful snakes, so you gotta love them. And they have definitely got a display on. <laughs> I mean, if you came up on the sucker in the wild, you'd be stupid and hard pressed to actually try and mess with him. I and mean, look at that display. That is beautiful. Here, get him launching again, dude.